Time ka zonga ngari mdiki nda singa mambudise pa susho. Time ka zonga wandra rora ini ai sungisa nda singa mambudise pa susho. I know what I'm doing and I'm old enough to do what I want. Hello guys, welcome to our channel. Mr. Kyo from video, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, that's it. Nasin Dinin Dibum interviewer. I'm going to talk to college education in Yam. In Bindura. Which university? Zegu University. My program I was doing social work. So what happened to social work? I loved the social work, but not as much as I loved YouTube. But YouTube is not the reason why I differed from university. I differed from university because there were sort of like uh, financial problems. Okay. It wasn't my choice for me to differ from university. After I dropped out of college because of financial problems, I had no choice but to be a full-time YouTuber because like YouTube was something that I loved. You see. Saka to talk about football. Maga city. I did not quit football. But I I took a break. I took a break. I am not a professional footballer, but I am a football freestyler. I tried to go pro 2017, 2018, 2019, but I failed. So that's why I ventured into what is called football freestyle. Do you do for a living? YouTube is the only source of income for you. YouTube, I do YouTube full time. And I don't desire to do other jobs out there, which is not YouTube. There is no world where I am not a YouTuber. I love YouTube and I invest my time in YouTube. All I got for now, I guess. I don't know, maybe things will change in the future, but I love football and YouTube. That is why I have got like so many YouTube channels. How many YouTube channels do you have? Four. So I'm good enough for my channels, one. Yeah, I, I, I run four YouTube channels by myself. It's kind of difficult, really. Because like I'm now married, I have a beautiful wife. So most of the time I spend most of my time on YouTube finding information how best can I run of those four YouTube channels. And at the same time, I would also like love to spend some quality time with my wife. My work is depriving me from basic necessities and that is to spend some quality time with my wife. Uh, since much Mimi you are married. Yes. Uh the dog Yes. Yes. She had no idea. She had no idea. Even at first when we met, she had no idea that I was a YouTuber. It's bad. social media. Look, it all comes back to you as a human being, whether you want to showcase your wife on social media or not. Me personally, for myself, I created the Beard Family because I wanted to showcase my lifestyle with my lovely wife. I chose to do that. But there are certain people out there who have that primitive mindset of saying, "Do not showcase your wife on social media." Other people are actually going to see your wife on social media and then they snatch her from you. Whether showcasing your wife on social media or not, when she walks out there, if she was going to be snatched, she'll, she'll be snatched. I'm going to be snatched. I'm going to be snatched on social media. I'm going to be snatched on social media. I'm going to be on social media. I know what I'm doing and I'm old enough to do what I want. And I know what is illegal and what is not legal. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us what is the experience? The experience yeah. Let me tell you something, guys. Mr. Ghana Baby is so humble. Odemaya is an amazing person. I mean, for me, it was sort of like a, an authentic experience. I learned a lot uh, from him 
uh, over a short period of time, imagine. Over a short period of time. You know what? The funny thing, when I met Wodemeyer, the best YouTuber from Ghana, he wasn't even wearing shoes. So at the end of the day, no matter who you are, don't have pride. Okay. So you see, Odemai has got like over 1 million subscribers and I've got like 30,000 subscribers. He did put himself on my level and we talked. So for me, I am telling you this. Don't have pride. And me meeting Odemai, I've learned a lot from him. And I'm not going to give up on YouTube. Saga, that was your first time meeting Odemai? Yes. Okay. That was my first time meeting a YouTuber that has got 1 million subscribers. What is your relationship with other YouTubers? I must say this, like I have like a nice relationship with other YouTubers out there. I have my own reasons and reason number one, don't judge a YouTuber. Today they might have 1000 subscribers, tomorrow they might end up having 1 million subscribers. So it's a must for you to have a good relationship with them. I've always tried to have a good relationship with any YouTuber out there. What ad advice do you give to the upcoming YouTubers? Be consistent, have patience, create best videos ever. Create, create videos that you'd watch yourself. 